it's Alan from MindVisionMedia.net. I hope all is well today. Uh, let's, let's see, I've got my list here. <laughs> We're going to talk about adding a tag cloud to your WordPress site uh, homepage, um, actually your header, so it'll show throughout your site basically. Um, and currently, this is my website, and I have a full width banner image here taking up my top space uh, I'm not going to remove that but I'm going to show you how to add the tag cloud um, in this top header area and if you had a default 300 width logo image it would share the space with that tag cloud um, for this demonstration the tag cloud will show up underneath my full width header and once again that's because I have a full width header so if you don't have a full width header it'll look different alright so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that I'm going to jump over here to my widget area inside my responsive theme WordPress dashboard alright appearance widgets brings you to your widget page <coughs> and the section that we want to affect once again is this upper header area okay and if you've signed up and got my responsive theme area zone map you know the area I'm talking about alrighty and it's found inside of your top widget and it's area 11 okay so basically we want to utilize that default widget top widget which is going to put content in area 11 okay my zone map talks about these different areas in the site and it's a really handy tool I wish I had it here it is right here but um, this is area 11 here so this is where the tag cloud is going to show up and what the tag cloud is <clears throat> basically is your m most used tags or categories in your website or your blog um, so for instance if you use the word you know um, roses you know a lot in your articles or on your blog well then that's going to show up as one of your most frequently used tags and if you've created categories um, like you should be doing inside of your WordPress uh, uh, dashboard uh, under posts um, you can create categories and tags let me show you what that is inside your dashboard under posts you see you have categories and tags okay these two items right here help reference your material your content it helps search engines find you it helps people who are searching for you on the internet or searching for your particular topic um, it adds SEO functionality to your site to have tags and categories and to have content pertinent to your category titles and your tag titles alrighty so I won't get into all of that, that's uh, another tutorial for another time, but for now I'm going to show you how to add a tag cloud to that top area, area 11, using the top widget, and we're going to go up here and use the default tag cloud widget that comes with your responsive theme from theme ID. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to drag it into the top widget drag that tag cloud in there and then here you have a choice for the taxonomy you can either choose categories or tags okay so let's just leave it on tags go ahead and save that and we're done basically we can go over to the website refresh and as I stated earlier I have a full width header rotating banner so it's going to be on top of the tag cloud but don't worry about that. If you don't have a full width header, you don't have to worry about it. This would be at the top. If I had a regular 300 width uh, logo image right here, it would just be sitting right here and not on top of the tag cloud. Alright, so 
real easy. So these are words that uh, are mentioned in my post and my articles and stuff like that. So that shows right up whatever's trending. All right, most frequently used. So that's a quick, easy tutorial on how to add a tag cloud to your WordPress site. Um, and that will show up throughout your site as you'll be able to see because it's in your area 11, which is globally throughout your site. Okay, whatever you have in there is going to show up on every page, just like your banner. All right, so I hope that explains it a little bit. Very easy. Once again, you want to go to your top widget inside your widget area for the responsive theme. You want to grab the tag cloud default widget and go ahead and select either categories or tags. Okay, whatever categories you've created in your site will show up or whatever tags you've created. So I just changed it from tags to um, categories. And there's my most used categories. Alright, so really handy, really easy. That's what Area 11 is, top widget. Download my responsive theme area zone map guidebook and it'll help you identify these particular areas and make it just a little bit easier uh, to navigate and know what areas these are referencing because they all reference an area area 6 area 3 area 2 etc etc area 1 so it's a handy tool just to familiarize you with that all right so i hope you uh, found this useful i get a lot of questions about adding a tag cloud to uh, wordpress and that's how you do it okay and of course you can add that to any widget um, you want to you can add that tag cloud widget to any of the other widgets you want i mean you could substitute it inside of your home widgets or any other widgets you have over here okay it's not exclusive for the top widget um, I just get a lot of questions about how to add the tag cloud to the header area so that's why I concentrated on that all right so like I said I hope this was useful if you have any questions just contact me at myinvisionmedia.net you know the deal alrighty talk to you later bye